what is going to be most appropriate for you? And what are the pros and cons of each of these? Well, the dry fertilizer, that's one part, is going to be the easiest to use. But just like with liquid fertilizers, where you're paying for the ease, you're going to pay for the ease with a one-part fertilizer, uh, a one-part dry fertilizer. And that's because the company has already done all the mixing for you. Um, and it's actually, a lot of times when you're looking at it, you'll actually see, you can see all of the different components that's within the bag. So you'll actually see, oh, there looks like there's a bunch of different types of fertilizer mixed into this. Well, you're paying them to mix that up. Now, it is really nice to be able to have a recipe that's already made for you and you just add it. It's, it's definitely simple, but there's more cost than just the cost. You, you lose the ability to adjust your tank. So although you can adjust it by adding more or, or adding less, that doesn't, that doesn't always give you all the control you need. So depending on season, sometimes it's advantageous to add, to increase the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus or increase the ratio of potassium to phosphorus. Well, if you only can just increase the total amount of fertilizer or decrease it, you can't adjust these ratios. Also, sometimes your water source will have fertilizer in it. So sometimes your water source will have a lot of calcium or magnesium or sulfur in it. Well, you can actually account for those inputs with these multi-part fertilizers by decreasing a certain input to adjust for what's already in your water. But you can't do that with a one-part. 